Hello friends, welcome back to USMLE team. Today I'm going to talk about migraine headache. This topic is a very important topic because uh, you need to differentiate it from uh, other type of headaches like uh, cluster headache and uh, tension headache. So this is very important topic and we will we shall discuss in detail regarding this. Uh, this is uh, not only important for uh, CK and uh, step 3 for uh, step 1 also so uh, Before starting this uh, I would request you to subscribe to our channel That is uh, all on our law and please tell your friends about our channel through email Facebook or Twitter account uh, Let me start with this uh, migraine headache It is a recurrent episodes of headache most often unilateral on in some cases associated with uh, visual or sensory symptoms collectively known as an aura that arise most often before the head pain and but that may occur during and afterward migraine is the most common in women and has a strong genetic component so just in usml examination they will give a woman with a headache try to keep migraine headache as an option Okay. The clinical features that's very important because if you know the clinical features in very well then you will be able to differentiate it from other type of headaches. Okay? So try to concentrate on this. It's a throbbing or a pulsatile headache with a moderate to severe pain that intensifies with the movement or a physical activity. Unilateral and localized pain in the frontotemporal and ocular area, but may, but the pain may be felt anywhere around the head or neck. Pain builds up over a period of one to two hours, progressing posteriorly and becoming diffuse. Headache lasts four to seven to two hours. So this is a very, very, very dangerous pain and very painful and look at the timing it lasts for 72 hours that's nearly three days and it's so frustrating right so this is really very bad pain uh, nausea vomiting uh, including anorexia and food intolerance lightheadedness could be seen sensitivity to the light and the sound is very important then uh, features of migraine aura are as follows you know, should know migraine aura that's very important may proceed or uh, accompany the headache phase or may occur in isolation usually develops over 5 to 20 minutes and lasts less than 60 minutes most commonly visual but can be sensory motor or any combination of these visual symptoms may be positive or negative the most common positive visual phenomenon is the scintillating scotoma an arc or a band of absent vision with shimmering or glittering zigzag border. The physical finding during the migraine headache may include the following cranial nerve or cervical cranial or cervical muscle tenderness. Sorry. Horner syndrome. Conjunctival injection, tachycardia or a bradycardia, hypertension or a hypotension hemisensory or hemiparatic neurological deficits ed type pupil that is poor light reactivity with near dissociation from light okay these are the very important points you should know about and regarding this there are some triggers for a migraine headache like uh, alcohol uh, sorry not alcohol uh, I was saying chocolates cheese caffeine uh, in Oman with uh, uh, during the uh, menstruation uh, some ladies taking uh, OCP that is a uh, oral contraceptive pills okay so these are very important points and you should also know that migraine headache uh, is more common in Oman right and it's a unilateral or a bilateral compared to cluster headache whereas a cluster headache is common in man but uh, uh, it has a uh, it is only unilateral okay and uh, there is no aura in cluster whereas you see aura in migraine okay so um, first of all 
the diagnosis of the migraine is based on the patient's history international headache society diagnose uh, diagnostic criteria are the are that the patient must have uh, had uh, at least five headache attack that lasted 4 to 72 hours and that headache must have had at least two of the following characteristics unilateral location pulsating quality moderate or a severe pain intensity aggravation of aggravation by or causing avoidance of routine physical activity for example walking or a climbing stairs in addition during the headache the patient must have had at least one of the following that is nausea or vomiting photophobia or a photophonophobia um finally these features must not have been attributed to another disorder classification of the migraine is as follows migraine without aura formerly known as a common migraine probable migraine without aura migraine with aura there is a classic migraine probable migraine with aura chronic migraine chronic migraine associated with analgesic overuse childhood periodic syndrome that may not be precursor to or associated with migraine complications of migraine are migraine as a disorder not fulfilling above criteria migraine variants including following childhood periodic syndromes late life migraines accompaniments bacillar type migraine these are the different types you know need to worry about that and no need to scratch your head on this this is not the important thing for usmle examination okay the migraine variant may be suggested by focal neurological findings such as the following that occurs with the headache and persists temporarily after the pain resolves unilateral paralysis or weakness that is hemiplegic migraine aphasia syncope and balance problem bacillar type migraine third nerve palsy with ocular muscle paralysis and ptosis including or sparing the pupillary response ophthalmoplegic migraine okay so what are the investigations what you need to do is uh, you first thing remember whenever there is a history of headache you should start with a ct or a mri if if the patient age is more than 40 years and uh, associated with the neurological focal neurological findings and the third one is if the pain is very severe and the sudden that could be a trauma that's why so sudden and severe focal neurological deficits and uh, age more than 40 remember these are the very important points selection of laboratory or imaging studies to rule out condition other than a migraine headache is determined by the individual presentation example the esr c reactive protein levels may be appropriate to exclude temporary temporal or giant cell arthritis neuroimaging is not necessary in patients with a history of recurrent migraine headache and normal neurological examination how do you treat it this is very important point acute treatment aims to reverse or at least stop the progression of the headache it is the most effective when given within 15 minutes of pain onset and when the pain is mild abortive medication include the following serotonin selective serotonin receptor agonist triptans somatriptan is the most common used drug okay uh, ergot alkaloids ergotamine is most commonly used analgesic and sex combination products antiemetics can be used now the prophylactic therapy is very important because we don't have the prophylaxis for a uh, cluster headache we have for uh, migraine headache the following may be considered indication for the prophylactic migraine therapy frequency of migraine attack is greater than 2 per month duration of individual attack is longer than 24 hours the headache cause major disruption in the patient's lifestyle with a significant disability at least 3 or more days about to therapy fails or is overused symptomatic medications are contraindicated or effective use of about two medications more than twice a week migraine variants such as hemiplegic migraine or a rare headache attacks producing a profound uh, disruption or if or risk of permanent neurological injury so what are the prophylactic medications you want to use so these prophylactic medication takes uh, several hours 
to be effective okay so what are the drugs drugs are like uh, propranolol is the best drug as a beta blocker and a tricyclic antidepressant calcium channel blockers SSRIs and serotonin antagonists botulinum toxin could be used hey guys I'm done with the topic on the migraine headache I hope you got some knowledge you got some uh, information about the migraine headache thank you so much for watching my video take care see you soon in the next video with me on USMLE team take care